Hey guys, I got this question from uh, Ambi Yu on YouTube. I'm just gonna read out the question. So if I discover more, a more useful Pythonic way of doing something, for example, from your book, the book is called Python Tricks. Be sure to check it out. It's available on Amazon. Um, but it doesn't make sense to use it in any of my current projects to practice. How can I remember to use it in the future when it is relevant? I have FOMO, fear of missing out, for that sort of thing. So I thought that was a really, really interesting question. So I want to uh, discuss it in this video. Now, what I would encourage you to do because this is, you know, it's an understandable uh, sort of fear that you're seeing something cool and you want to remember to actually use it. Um, what, what I would encourage you to do is to have some sort of journal, um, some application. I don't think it makes sense for this to be paper based. So I, I would do that in, uh, in some kind of app that you can just add notes and uh, make them searchable. Um, I actually blogged about this in the past, um, just the system that I use, and maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, just kind of run people through it. Um, there are a couple of options that are really great for software developers. Um, and uh, the, the tool that I used in the past, I actually just switched to something else, but what I used in the past and really enjoyed was called, uh, or is called Quiver. It's uh, a note-taking app for, for developers and you can do cool things. You can add like little, um, I believe you can do UML diagrams and you can uh, just add code snippets and it's kind of all kind of in there. And I, I think that is a great choice for, for keeping your thoughts around. I actually, well now a while ago, I switched to just um, an app called Simple Note and I use that to synchronize my notes um, across all of my devices. You know, I have, I have them on my phone. Um, I have it on my iPad, I have it on all of my computers, and that way I can always access these notes and I can just drop in a new note. And uh, at least at the time, Quiver didn't do that. And I really wanted that functionality because I often, you know, I go for a walk or I sit down in the morning and I just want to add a quick note and I don't want to necessarily like have to walk up to my computer to do that. I just want to, you know, pull up my phone and do it there. So um, I'm using Simple Note now. It's a free app. You could just go with your phone's note-taking app, to be honest. doesn't really make a big difference. Um, if you want to go nuts with this process, you could probably also start some kind of personal wiki, you know, just spin up some wiki uh, wiki system on, um, on, on a web server. And um, you could also use that and build a system that you can access from anywhere in the world. Uh, maybe the user experience won't be that great compared to like a native app on your phone, for example. And what I would do with that is just add these little snippets, you know, everything, every time you find something cool, just take a little note, like maybe copy and paste some of that code and just put it in there and um, make it, add some keywords, um, just make it searchable, you know, add some, some things that will allow you to find this again. So if this is about like writing more Pythonic code, whatever your personal definition of that is, um, then you will be able to search for that and find it again. So I would definitely encourage you to do this journaling. Um, you know, it's, it's not, well, maybe journaling is actually, it's not the right word for that kind of system. It's more like um, filing these little things and building up sort of a library of these little snippets and little, um, you know, um, hints that, that you can use when you're working on a problem. And, and I've absolutely benefited from that. You know, it's a lot of times it's like my personal version of, of Stack Overflow and I just punch something in and, and I'm like, oh yeah, I did that in the past. And that way I can find it again. Um, another really cool option that you could do here is why not start a blog and actually, you know, share the things that you found. Like why not talk about this in public? Um, because that has a number of benefits. A, you're going to write down the stuff. You're going to find it again. And B, it's also going to be, you know, it's all this is coming back is going to be coming back to you because you're building up a public portfolio and you're kind of, uh, showing the world that that you're a great programmer because you're sharing your knowledge and you're sharing the things that you learned and you know it's just it's just a way for for you to um to show that expertise and that you care about your craft because many people just don't so this will put you on top of of the pile in a lot of cases right just make you stick out so i don't know if you feel comfortable with that i don't do it i sort of you know take the best stuff i learn and then turn that into articles and blog posts, but I don't like just, you know, take notes publicly in that sense. Uh, maybe I should, I don't know, but that's definitely another, another thing that you could, um, you could do. Let's see here. Um, and yeah, I think that that's covered my system or the system that I use. So yeah, definitely use some kind of app, throw your notes in there 
and then that way you can find them again. So yeah, let me know how that goes. You know, leave a comment if you if you see that, if you watch this video, and uh, I'd be curious to hear about your experience experience using tools like that or just using workflows like that. All right, take care and happy Pythoning.